Right, I'm not gonna lie, this has not been easy, but I've managed to track down Harry Flower. He's been off the radar for two, three months. I've not been able to speak to him. I've had no idea where he is. A lot of people have been asking me like, where is he, is he all right, so. He's gonna leave out the door, yeah? He's gonna leave out the door. He's gonna leave. No. Right, just starting something today, which I've never done before. I've basically boxed for on and off for the last year. Ooh, you're hard showing off. Cause... There's times where I've been like twice a week for like three months and times where I've not done it. But today I'm going for my first session of Muay Thai, which is probably going to be horrifically savage. Keep like, keep uh, swing it, swing it now, let it go, I've managed to track down Harry Flower. He's been off the radar for two, three months. I've not been able to speak to him. I've had no idea where he is. A lot of people have been asking me, like, where is he? Is he all right? So I've actually heard from one of the locals in Topsham um, that he's been spending a lot of his time at the Conservative Club in Topsham. And um, there they've got a nice snooker table upstairs and he's been spending six hours a day practicing, uh, doing line drills, doing line drills. And um, and I'm hoping that this is a good time to perhaps like bump into him. It's, it's the evening, this is when he's probably most likely to be there. So I'm um, just literally just driving into Topshire now and um, I'm gonna park up, find a spot, and then we're gonna go out into the conservative club and um, see if we can find him. See if we can find out like what he's been up to and stuff, so. <laughs> hey, what, man? All right, bud. Yeah. I'm just messaging you saying I'm in the garden. You know? Uh... Sort of hidden behind the um, stick. There. Do you mean the parasol? I'm not sure, sure if I can see beyond that. Yeah. Parasol, if, you, if we actually put it there, you actually disappear. Where have you been, mate? Because, like, me? Obviously, I haven't seen you for a few months, and um, you know, people have been worried about you, like, wondering where your whereabouts were. And been producing. What have you been up to? Yeah, been producing one of the biggest future Hollywood blockbuster documentaries of the next generation. Yeah. Which is going to be fundamental to not just the game of golf but for all athletes in general I think it's going to be a huge inspiration to up and coming youngsters and the hope is that it helps more and more people take up sport and that's the same goal that I've got with snooker is to help develop the game as much as possible it's a dying sport and yeah. we need more people in the game I'm on the committee James yeah. and, and quite frankly it's probably needed isn't it God's work a mate. good shift so, yeah. out is God's work and all the work I've done through my life has been pretty much voluntary whether it be YouTube because enough of these you know there wasn't enough of these general public the GPs to watch the videos and generate income. So f them. And then you got snooker. Snooker golf, snooker, golf, DJ and bodybuilding. What else has there been? There's been uh, <coughs> window fitting. Window, fit, window fitting, taxi driver, lifeguard. It's built really a foundation 
for me to be in the position where I am now, which is and well, my position is now is to fundamentally help people, um, especially people that want to play snooker on a Friday night in the extra area. Yeah, Fridays and Thursdays gives them a bit of competition. Gives them a bit of competition. Gives them a bit of purpose in life. Well, you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. And it, to I think it's going to be fantastic. I think it's going to be massive for Exeter, and it'll put probably put Exeter on the map if this goes Alongside well. Alongside Sheffield, Exeter. Right, right down here at the moment. Exit down here. Sheffield's up here, but <laughs> we've got Barry Hearn. Right? Eventually, we'll, we'll Barry Hearn say. Yes. Eventually, Exeter's up here with Sheffield because um, you're turning this place into the crucible of exactly Look, of, of what top. Is he, what did he say? So, I've laid the gauntlet down to Exeter City Council. Right, you build me a new venue. Five thousand people. You might struggle with 5,000 people at yeah, that. It'd be lucky to get five people in there. Five would be a push. But it's all, look, it's all stress and it's all relative, isn't it? So. Yeah, I see a lot of similarities with you and Barry. Huh? You know, here he is. This is the sweet striking hair and flower. Oh, we'll leave that one out, James.